Louise Pomery, have decided to take over at the helm of the business and continue in my husband's footsteps. July 1868, Madame Pomery launches what was in Reims the biggest building site of the century, a domain spanning some 50 hectares, stretching over 18 kilometers of galleries, linking up 117 Gallo-Roman chalk pits. I wanted this domain to be like an open book, opening up to the world, opening up to time. The prevailing spirit is avant-garde. Built in an H-shaped open-plan form, all the buildings break with architectural tradition. Audacious, charming, impish, the Pomery style is born. Letter to my cellar master, Damas. We need a wine that is as dry as possible, without being stiff. A wine that is soft, velvety, and truly harmonious, but above all, elegant. A revolution for champagne. Up to then, champagne wines had had a very high sugar content. Madame Pomery is very conscious of the fact that tastes are evolving towards less sugary, lighter wines. She sets the tone in Europe and elsewhere in the world by creating the Brut Nature, the first Brut in the history of Champagne in 1874. With our Brut, it is the Pomery style that will prevail, a style brimming over with finesse and joyous lightness. After Europe, England, Russia, and far off America, the Pomery Champagnes are set to conquer the world. In 1935, Pomery becomes the biggest exporter of champagne. As soon as I was informed of the opening of a new market, I gave the name of its capital to one of the galleries at the Domain. When you walk around our cellars, you travel the world according to Pomery. The symbol of elegance, prestige and sophistication Pomery champagnes are served at the most important events in the world. I fondly remember those days in April. Everything was so beautiful. All the guests raised their golden glasses to wish the newlyweds a lifetime of happiness. What wine other than our champagne the wine of good fortune and happiness could have been a better choice to christen the biggest ocean liner. Pomery innovates. Pomery invents. Pomery continues its unflagging conquest of the world, winning over territories that are further and further away. What great joy there is in inviting this new world to discover our champagne. From 80 days to 24 hours, it takes less and less time to go around the world. How tiresome having to wait for the seasons. Mr. Cellarmaster, our ninth, simply invent them. First century. Impish, audacious Pomery, footloose and fancy free Pomery, yet always sublimely elegant. Whatever the bottle, Pomery is always Pomery. More than just a brand, it's a lifestyle. The Domain Pomery, a gigantic space for artists to give free rein to their imagination. From all over the world, they come to create works of art in situ that reflect the magic of the setting. 
Champagne, like art, is an exceptional experience. We need the very best grapes. The Pommery Vineyard has them. We need the quintessential know-how of the Pommery Cellar Masters. We need a wine harvest from a great vintage. We need the wine to mature in exceptional cellars for seven years. Finally, we need a bottle of great delicacy, worthy of a dream. And then, Pommery will call me Louise. Thank goodness day-to-day -day life is such a joy.